In my previous videos, I've shown object detection and 2D pose estimation using a RGB desktop camera. This time, we will do the 3D pose estimation of the detected object using the depth camera. In this project, I'm using Intel RealSense 415 depth camera. And these are the objects I'm going to detect. For this task, I'll be using Find Object 2D Package in ROS. Let's see how far we can use this package for object detection and 3D pose estimation. This is my object detection package. I have written a launch file to run all the required nodes for object detection and 3D pose estimation. We'll get into more details of this file after seeing it in action. Let's start by launching this file. This is the GUI of the Find Object 2D node. And here is the point cloud in Arvis. We have to add the images of the objects to be detected first. Let's add the image of this object. To add the image of the object, go to Edit, click on Add Object from Scene, Take Picture, Select the region of interest. The yellow spots are the features extracted for this object. The detector will match these features to mark the object as detected. As we see, the node already started detecting this object. Here is the TF of the object with respect to the camera frame. Let me move this object and see. The object frame is following the object location. This is 3D pose estimation. Let's check the XYZ values of the object frame. You see, when the object is moved upwards, the Z value is increasing and decreasing when moved downwards. Moving the object closer to the camera is decreasing the X value. Perfect. Let's add another object for detection. It started detecting. The TF is also broadcasted. This is the name of this object's frame. It appends the object's ID to the word object. So object 13 is the name of this object's frame. It is not detecting here. Let's take it a bit closer. Okay, it is detecting here. Let's rotate and check if it is able to detect. Yes, it is detecting.
the object's frame orientation is also changing accordingly. This is good. Now let's add the final object. You'll get to know why I'm marking only this portion by the end of this video. Ok, it started detecting. Not detecting this far. Let's take it closer. Let's check the TF. This object is not good with rotations. Let me put the object down. If the object is not detected, the TF broadcasting is stopped, which is what we want. Good so far. We have to save the session, so that next time we can load the session and start tracking the objects directly. Now let's see what is in the launch file. This is the RealSense camera node to start the camera and these are its arguments. This argument enables or disables the point cloud data. This is the RWIS node. Here comes the main node, find object 2D. These are the parameters related to this node. This param should be true for 3D pose estimation. We can block the GUI if not required using this param. To load the saved session, the session path should be given in this param. Remap the topic names to the names published by the camera node. There is another node TF example below which I missed recording. This node is also from find object 2D package. It is the one which is broadcasting TFs of the detected objects. You can check it out in my git source code of this project. Link is provided in the description. Now let's give the path of our saved session and launch this file again. This GUI can be blocked by setting its value to false here. See, our session is loaded. Object detection and TF broadcasting started immediately. So find object 2D package is very easy to use and get the 3D pose of the detected objects without much code to write. But it has some limitations. Let me show you. If we rotate this object a little, this package can no more detect the object. We have to take more number of shots of this object in different angles. Ok, this may not be looking to be a big problem because we can take some hundred pictures of the object keeping it in different orientations and then the object is always detected, right? But how about this? As my shadow falls on the object, it stops detecting it. The lighting condition should be kept same as when the object is captured from the scene. And the final limitation is that this package won't work on a single colored object.
Let me try adding this to scene. You see, there are almost no features detected on this object. So why these limitations? To understand the limitations, we have to first understand the implementation behind this package. Find object 2D package uses OpenCV object descriptors and detectors like surf, sift, ORB, fast and others. These descriptors will detect the intensity differences or simply color differences in the neighboring pixels and store them as features. Detectors will then compare the intensities of the given image and mark as detected only when the intensities matches with the stored features. As shown here, the single color cannot be detected or stored as a feature and intensities in the image changes with the lighting conditions. So these are the reasons for the limitations. But still, Find Object 2D is a great package to start with object detection and 3D pose estimation using Point Cloud. Thanks to Intro Lab for making this wonderful package. There are other packages in ROS like Object Recognition Kitchen which can also be used for 3D pose estimation. Or we can write our own OpenCV object detection code for 2D RGB images and then get the depth information from the Point Cloud. So I'll try to come up with more robust ways of object detection and tracking in future. By the way, IntroLab also provides RTAB algorithm for SLAM. I'll make a project based on RTAB soon. Hope you like this video. Then don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos on robotics and ROS. For more stuff, visit my website www.rosroboticslearning.com. Thanks for watching.